Hi, it's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas. And the first thing I want to say is Happy Thanksgiving. No matter when you are watching this video, I hope Thanksgiving was or is going to be amazing for you. I hope you're finding lots and lots of things to be thankful for. No matter when you're watching this video, you are watching a recording. I am enjoying Thanksgiving with my own family today. But I wanted you to have a Christmas card from the Christmas Light Stamp Set. So, let me get you pointed down and we'll get started. wanted to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. All right, today we will be making a card using the basic black cardstock cut in half horizontally, although we will be making a vertical card with this. It's just different. And then we also have our inside very vanilla cut four by five and a quarter and a piece of lights of glow designer series paper for the front four by five and a quarter and then a piece of the festive foil specialty paper cut two and a half by five and a quarter and then a little strip of the DSP will be putting on the inside. And it's just what was cut off of the 6x6 six six paper to make this five and a quarter. So that I guess that would make it three quarters by four. And we're going to start by... Um, cutting some embellishment with the mini stamp and cut and emboss. I have a tree cut out of the Glimmer Specialty Paper Evening Evergreen. And you can cut both the detail as well as the cut the shape out at the same time. But I didn't cut the detail on this one, so we're going to do it now. I'm putting just in here with the detail die on my already cut out Christmas tree die. Trying to get it lined up where I want it. There we go. Putting all these up and it's hard to see the details on this glimmer paper but they're there and they also have it all come out so I'm gonna grab my brush
evergreen tree with the sparkling details already cut out. Now I'm going to grab my stamparatus and get ready to put some stamping on this. We'll be stamping the sentiment right on the gold foil. And I'll be using Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And I already pulled it out, so let me. Okay, if you want to get kind of right in the middle, right about there. Hoping your Christmas shines bright with the love of family and friends. And then I'll ink it up with the Memento ink. And here we go. Give it a little more ink. That's the benefit of the stamparatus. If it's not as dark as you want, you can just re-ink it and stamp it again, and it will be in the exact same place. Got right. And one more time. I just really would want it to have a very dark image. All right. Set this aside and let it dry for a minute. And get my chamois. Take off that stamp. And then we're going to do some stamping on the inside of the card as well. Magnus being a pain, so we'll just leave it there. All right. And then I'm going to put Merry Christmas kind of in the middle, sort of. Ink it up just a little more. All right. And then we're going to leave that card inside right there. Because I want to put a string of lights on it. Now the only ink we are using for this card is black. But it's going to be fine. Most Christmas lights are not black. But these are going to be because... Um, that's what we have, but also because this is a very elegant black and gold card. 
and it would just look silly to have bright lights in there. Oops. Always remember to put your stamp with the cling on the upside so that the paper artist can pick it up. magnet. Clean this up a little bit because I'm going to move it so that we have a couple of strings of lights or garland. Maybe that's what we have. Garland. Put a little extra ink on there. paper trimmer because this is an interesting part of the card. We will be um, cutting this at the two inch mark. Actually, what is half of five and a quarter? Two and a half plus an eighth. So right about there. And we'll be bringing it in about two inches. See if that's approximately two inches thick. A little short of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip a little further. Okay. Now we're gonna start putting our card together. Folding our black cardstock in half to make a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. Going to grab my card interior and get that finished off. Glue the designer series paper strip at the bottom. And then glue the inside layer to the inside of the card. Next, I will take my um, foil paper and I'm going to 
glue it to the edge. And then we're going to add some glue on this edge and along the top and bottom of this paper. that on there and then we are taking and curling grab my glue dots put a glue dot right under this corner so that it will hopefully stay and not curl. We're opening up the card. So, this is the very first, um, my favorite card. In the very first class that I went to use this technique and I think it may be the favorite card that my grandma has ever received from me was the card I made in that Now you notice I'm not creasing this opening. I'm just sticking down the corners so that it stays open. And then I will be adding the tree. Some glue dots on that tree. My glue dots are almost out. Just put a couple of glue dots on the paper. And then I may be putting some dimensionals on the rest of the tree. Glue dots have decided to stick to the cardboard instead of the paper. So I'm going to grab my dimensionals and get ready to put a few of those on this side. That's human hair sticking to my dimensional. So that's my hair. Does that happen to you? Does your hair find its way sticking to your adhesive on your card elements? I usually have dog hair sticking to it, but 
this time it was my hair. All right, and there we have today's card. There's our beautiful tree with a sentiment. And then you open it up and Merry Christmas. Well, I hope you enjoy making Christmas cards and I hope you're having had or are having an amazing Thanksgiving. And I will be back next Thursday and we will start the December Chris, the December featured stamp set, which is Brightest Glow. So we'll be working with more Christmas sentiments. See you then.